one. So tonight, I'm going to show you my unstuffed bell peppers that I did. And I did this using uh, ground sirloin because it was on sale. My brother was kind enough to buy a bunch of it. So I made a couple of dishes. I made this uh, unstuffed bell peppers and I also made some chili mac, which will be going in the freeze dryer here real soon. What I did, when I, I'll include the recipe that I used. It wasn't my own recipe. It's one I found online. But I'll include that in the description box below. What I did was I used the uh, frozen ripe dividers and divided these out into single portions because I'm wanting to pack these up in single portion meals in Mylar bags. And I'm going to do that at a later date. So today... It's late in the evening, so today I'm just going to bag these all up in a bigger bag and we'll do the uh, individuals later when I pack my individual meals. They came out real nice. We obviously had some of this when I when I made it up for dinner that day and it, it is delicious and once I get this all sealed up we'll rehydrate some and see how it rehydrates Okay, so I have a cup of water here. Obviously not going to put that much in there. We'll go by a quarter cup at a time. Let's see how that rehydrates. I like bell peppers, cheese, hamburger, tomato sauce, seasoning, rice. Basically, it's all the ingredients of a stuffed bell pepper. And you don't stuff the pepper. You chop the pepper up and put it in your casserole. So... I'm thinking two of those squares is going to be a serving, <laughs> not one. Really simple recipe, to be honest with you. Soak up some water. Just a little splash more. I can kind of feel that that hamburger is not rehydrated yet. What do we got out here? A 
Okay, it's smelling really good. Tastes good. The hamburger is not rehydrated yet. Everything else is rehydrated. The rice. The onions. The peppers. They've all rehydrated well. That hamburger might take a little bit longer. And it's kind of going to be hard for that to soak up water and there ain't much water in there. So I might have to water it down a little bit to get that hamburger to soak up. I think the trick is when you're doing this ground beef, if you want something that's going to rehydrate really quick, I mean, I could leave that set aside for 20 minutes and I bet you that would be perfectly fine, but I still have to finish emptying my last tray with at, which has two items from the freeze dryer. But if you're re freeze drying ground beef, you, you don't want big clumps of it, I don't think, if you want it to rehydrate pretty fast. Because most of that ground beef in there is, is done, but when I came across a big chunk, it was a little bit crunchy. But man, the flavor of that is absolutely spot on. Just like when I made it. That is really good. You've got to give the, the recipe a try, if nothing else. Yeah, the hamburger's definitely coming up now. Because I just got a good chunk there and it was chewy. Like hamburger, not crunchy. Let me show you what it looks like. That is delicious. A nice quick dinner when you don't feel like cooking. And another great success for that Harvest Right freeze dryer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.